One thing I've learned here at the homestead up in Idaho is that we don't have much of a fall. It goes from summer to winter. The same thing's happening in our digital space. I get questions all the time on social media, my website about, and even my classes, doctors are coming in with various systems that are put together. I just had a doctor that came in that uses the Trios for his imaging capture, uses DS Core, moves that over to InLab, uses the CAM software of the InLab and mills on an MCXL. And I'm going, oh, that's insane. And he's doing really good dentistry. He sends me pictures of his restorations. He's mainly using Emacs and they look just really nice. So what's making this thing happen? We are entering a new era of digital dentistry and including printing. There's one thing that's made that happen and that's DS Core. We are now entering a new era of <laughs> the wild west of digital dentistry. Recently, I spoke at my dental school and there were some rooms I hadn't been in in over 40 years. This is my lab bench, 42, where I spent my freshman year. Right next to that was the hallway where we had our mailboxes and that's where I would pick up my test scores, my board scores. I even got a little nervous there. And then they showed me the new digital lab for the dental students and graduate students and how they're integrating digital dentistry to the workflow. And I'm thinking about that's where we are now. And we're definitely in a wild west, mainly because we have open systems with DS Core. I was carrying this laptop in the opening video. And why is this laptop so important to me? I carry it everywhere I go between my practice and here. On this laptop, I have ExoCAD, I have InLab, I have Serac, and I also have 3 Shape. Now, with DS Core, I can work with any system here, put it into a CAM software, mill it out here with my PM7, or go back to my practice and use my M6L or my prime mill and mill restoration designed in any one of these softwares, or I can take the STL and print a provisional, or you could print an inlay onlay final restoration with sprint ray, and not to leave out the options of designing your own appliances, printing it on the sprint ray or any printer that you have. And particularly now with the accelerated printing of sprint ray, those options you have there, you can print your inlays and onlays final restorations and place those in. Now you can take any scanner on the market. For instance, you have Prime Scan, 3 Shape, upload those files to DS Core. With DS Core, you can download into your Serac software, your laptop softwares, which I have a number of them here, design the restorations you want, place it in a CAM software, and mill it anywhere you want or print it anywhere you want. That's amazing. Recently, I had a conversation with Caleb and he's special to me. He was my chair sign assistant going way back a number of years. Then he graduated into teaching with me and traveled with me all over North America. And now he's a CERC specialist for Patterson in the Bay Area. And I'm really proud of him, but he knows a lot. I have a few questions for Caleb up here at my homestead studio. I want to add in some type of intraoral scanning camera. I love Prime Scan and I have that at the office and it's worked really well. Then the Prime Scan 2 came out and I'm going, oh, will that work up here? And I don't think I have the internet speed, at least as far as I know right now, I can't tether that to a laptop or a computer system. So I do have the option of going with. Uh, Trios 5, which has been really attractive to me. And then I had the option of using the Prime Scan Connect, which is the Prime Scan 1 that will connect into a laptop. I can upload that to DS Core and then use that on any system that I need here. So I'm 
having to make that decision. So I had a few questions for him. And then we entered this conversation about the Wild West, which he coined, of digital dentistry. So let's go ahead and go to that conversation. I love your beard. Thank you. You're, it's so manly. You, you belong up here at the Wild West Theater here in Idaho. I, I love Idaho. You all send me the invite. I'll come anytime. Hey, folks, this is Caleb, and there's a long history between us. Caleb was in my office for years. He's taught with me for years. He traveled North America with me for years, and then he left me because he had, he wanted the Wild West. So he's the CEREC specialist for the Patterson Bay area. And I, I do have to brag on you here because I was told by your branch manager that they want to clone you. <laughs> that might be a little weird to see myself running around, but uh, sure, I'm down. But I, I think with that, we would truly have the Wild West going. Uh, now I have my boots on here. I have my hat right over there, but you've been giving me a, advice because you came up with this coined phrase. We're in the digital wild west right now. Up in my theater here, I'm trying to figure out which scanner to get. I have the PM7. I have all these furnaces here. I still love my Serif Cherish side. It's the beast. And what's happened is DS Core. DS Core has opened a plethora of different angles, and you were sharing with me, in fact, you sent someone to my class that put together their own digital workflow, and it's working quite well. So in today's world, can we actually use like a Trios into the CEREC system and mill on a CEREC milling unit? Yeah, so there's, there's dentists practicing all over the Bay right now using different types of scanners. A Trios is a great one. Uh, exporting the file and designing it can be a bunch of different good design softwares. Like, you know, if they have in-lab cam, they yeah. can export it right to a Serona mill, which is, you know, th those are great mills. So it, everything just opened up. Like we were talking about, it's the wild, wild west. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so many cool things you can do right now. So I found out that I have to wear cowboy boots now in my office in order to handle this. But in all seriousness, where I think it's helping me out here is that I, I love ExoCAT, but I also love CEREC. In my hands, I find that CEREC is better with the biogeneric posteriorly because now we're getting into printing and with Sprint Ray and their new Midas, we can print inlays and onlays is where I'd go with it for now. I'm not sold on the full crown yet, but you never know, things will catch up. My question is, we have a plethora of softwares, but do you think maybe InLab would be easier for a CEREC user to get into because they're already familiar with that workflow? If they want to maybe use a five axis milling unit, they want more versatility in milling or even printing. Uh, what do you see the happy mix there? Yeah, I think if you're coming from the world of Serona, the newer in-lab versions are really similar to ChairSide, and the workflow is just as just as smooth. Yeah, uh, you just have more options. So, uh, really, it's it's for anyone. Um, if you can use ExoCAD, you can use in-lab CAD. If you're familiar with ChairSide software, it's going to feel like second nature to you for sure. It's a lot. It's it's a lot um, user. It's a lot more user friendly than than it used to be than some other softwares are. The new in-lab is pretty great. How long has the CAM software been out for Dense Supply Serona? Oh, years and years and years and years. Um, it just, you know, not a lot of people knew about it, but it's been there. And originally it was a, it's an in-lab product, right? So we weren't exactly going out of our way to, you know, to have doctors use it, but it's been there as a resource for a while. So with the CAM software, would I be correct to say, because I have ExoCAD, but you could basically export an STL from any design software like ExoCAD or 3Shape and mill that out in your CERC units, right? Yeah, yeah. So you, 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 would, you have in-lab CAD and CAM. Okay. You, you bring the files in, you design them. Once it's in CAM, then it can export to a Serona mill. That's amazing. And I get questions like that all the time on YouTube now. In fact, this is going to be on YouTube and you're going to be, I haven't asked you this, but you're, you're my new advisor. You know that. I thought I used to know a lot about digital dentistry until talking to you uh, several weeks ago and little did I know, but it's going to work out well for me because you know, I'm in a dilemma here, right? 
because up here I was waiting for the prime scan too, mm -hmm. but I have Starlink, which means my maximum upload right now is around 28 megabytes on a really nice clear day without any wind or snow or whatever. So I'm thinking, okay, I, I love the Cerex system. I love my prime scan. I've tried the trios. I like the trios as well. And I'm still trying to come up with a solution for that. And then the other day we were talking about maybe people like me that need to still tether my camera into a computer. Maybe the uh, the Prime Scan Connect would be the better way to go. W what's your point of view on that? Uh, yeah, for sure. For a situation like yours where you're you're kind of off grid to semi off grid, right? The Prime Scan Two it's a great scanner, but maybe going direct to the cloud isn't a very feasible option. And the Prime Scan Connect is great. It's a Prime Scan scanner just connected to a laptop. So a laptop, um, and that's it. First, yeah. First, now, first setup like yours. With that laptop, does that have to go into DS Core in order to access that file, or can I actually access that as a DXD or STL? It's the Connect software, so you can export from your Connect laptop as an STL or DXD and put it on any software. Any software right DS, there. Uh, yeah. For that. Well, you know, I'm a big fan of DS Core, and uh, my speeds up here will work with DS Core because that's where I use that for my ExoCAD now. So I can take my Prime Scan, move it into DS Core, which is really easy to use, download that, put it in my ExoCAD, design it export that as an STL, I can either put that back into the Cerex system or I can mill it out on my PM7 here on that CAM software. I've been spoiled because historically ChairSight has the CAM software in the ChairSight software, doesn't it? Theoretically. Because on the manufacturer screen, that is the CAM software. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's a part of it. You just, you don't notice it. You go from design to manufacturer base and you're, you're a CAM. So I've gotten used to that and spoiled with that. But it is nice. What I did find is that when I'm designing in in lab, I can just send it right to the cam. It automatically populates my cam portfolio there on cases. And then I can just send that right off to my prime mill or my MCXL, which I still love. For fine mill with that 12 burr on the left, which is 0.85 for fine mill, it's still my preference for Emacs in the MCXL. It's a it's a beautiful mill with that with that Serota mill for Emacs. I love the circuit. It, 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 it's the best. However, I love the Prime mill as well. I'm a huge fan of it. I mean, Zirconia. I get as good mills on the margins as I do with my PM7 here. Okay. On the fine mill, on the fine mill. I mean, I'm not giving anything up. Of course, this is a five axis. There are some subtle benefits to that, but it's it's not clinically significant with zirconia, so that's to me a wash. In fact, on my uh, PM7 here, it's just about as fast as fine mill in the prime mill. Ooh, I like the way that sounds. <laughs> so I'm learning a lot about where we're going on this. I do get a lot of questions on my social media about what should I do, and I do see this surge now for people that already have some type of scanner. You know, the last I saw, about 59% of offices in North America have some type of digital scanner. So basically with DS Core, you could get that into InLab, right? Yeah, this kind of opens everything up. It's easy export, easy upload, easy download. So whatever software to whatever software, it's, uh, it's a wild, wild west. It's really cool. Thank you, Caleb. Thanks for spending time watching this video. I still have a few more questions. I don't know exactly which scanner I'm going to get here, but I do probably have it narrowed down to the Trios 5, or I'm going to go with the Prime Scan Connect. Uh, I do have a bias toward the Dense Splice Runner system because I got started with Cirrhic Red Cam, and it's this attachment that I have for over half my career of working with digital dentistry, and, and I am loyal but I also want what's best for my future up here. But the good news is that we have open systems now. I'm gonna have more videos on this topic, mainly because I'm using various softwares today. I like the open systems we have now. For instance, post cheerly, I still like Serif, the InLab. It really performs well. 
people that are entering into printing their posterior restorations that are coming from CEREC, that's an easily transfer over to the workflow because the software is basically the same. You can export the STL and print. ExoCAD is a great software as well. Posteriorly, it takes a few more steps to get through that workflow, but it works extremely well once you're used to that. I love ExoCAD for the digital wax up and also working through the anterior teeth. I just feel like they're templates and just the shapes and the ability to cut through the interproximal contact and have good embrasure form. It's really expedient for anterior seric work. Posterior seric work, I'm favoring a little bit more of the in-lab seric system, particularly if I'm doing bread and butter and general dentistry, whether it be milling or printing, it works extremely well and also making quick provisionals and turning those around. I think in today's CAD CAM clinical world, if you're moving CAD CAM into your office or printing into your office, there's more than one software that's gonna work well for you. And thank you, Dent Splice Rona, for your DS score because that has bridged everything together. And with the in-lab CAM software chair side, it allows you to take any STL, bring it back into your ecosystem of M6L or PrimeL, mill what you need to there, or mill what I need to here with another CAM software for the PM7, or a disc type of milling unit that you may have. This YouTube channel is gonna expand into this wild west of digital dentistry. It keeps my passion alive. I love learning new things. I love digital dentistry and I love self-reliance. And that's what I like to share on this channel is I learn together with you folks. Any comments or questions, make sure you post them right below. In the meantime, I'll see you in that next video. Bye now.